I'm talking with Eric Helmrich. Eric is the assistant coach at Iona Prep in New Rochelle, New York. He's also a coach and instructor at Hardball Training Center in Elmsford. And most importantly, he's also a guidance counselor at Sacred Heart High School in New York. Um, Eric, uh, you recently traveled to Ireland to work with Little Leaguers as part of the Baseball United Foundation's Baseball Exchange Program. Tell us a little bit about that experience. So um, in July, I had the opportunity to go over and work with a handful of Irish uh, Little League players and some national players um, for about a week where we had a three-day camp and um, we were able to do a a lot of drills and different activities and it was a really um, good opportunity to kind of see what uh, Irish baseball, um, kind of see where Irish baseball is at right now and kind of see the kids um, really work hard every day and uh, gave me an opportunity to work with a handful of kids who really have a strong passion for the game and um, who really want to learn more <clears throat> and and work hard at it for you know at a sport that's really not too popular over there yet. But within the next couple of years, I mean, you can really see how fast uh, it's going to grow with the way these kids have a passion for the game. And how old were the kids that you were working with? The kids ranged. Um, I think the youngest kids that we had were about five or six. Uh, some of them who've never picked up a ball or a bat or a glove. And then the oldest at the camp um, was about 13 or 14 years old. And then a couple of the older, um, older players who helped and actually played with the, uh, for the Irish national team or within the, um, the Irish league that is there um, range between 16, 17 and 18 years old. So I was able to kind of interact with a large uh, age of children uh, but for the majority of the kids at the camp were uh, 5 to, to 13. Okay. And can you explain where you were exactly? Uh, what part of Ireland were you working in? And uh, talk about the uh, the field situation there. So our, um, our camp is held at the Ashbourne Little League, uh, uh, Little League field or the Ashbourne um, facility, uh, probably about 30 minutes outside of Dublin. Um, I believe the field's about two years old, um, which – really took a lot of help from the community itself and then people all throughout Ireland and back here in the States. But um, the field is an unbelievable place, unbelievable environment. Uh, the field itself is, is gorgeous. Uh, the surface is pretty, you know, pretty strong for being one of the only three of three fields in all of Ireland, I believe, uh, with a nice batting cage and a lot of potential. Uh, the people and the kids take awesome care of it. And, you know, they treat it like their home every day. They're there uh, working on the field. Uh, they're cleaning up afterwards. And even the equipment they have, it may not be the best that compared to somebody else, but they take care of everything and have a, a strong sense of pride and ownership towards it. And it shows that every day they go out there and they play in a gorgeous field. That's probably better than the majority of high school and college fields within the area. And would you say, um, or how would you say the community in general, um, you know, people that are either affiliated with baseball in Ashburn or, um, uh, you know, people that have nothing to do with the game, uh, how do they view baseball? Uh, is the community enthusiastic? And um, what did they tell you? What did they ask you about the game? You know, I was there for about six days, and the people, whether they knew who I was, um, there to help out with baseball camp or were just there to visit, they were more than welcoming. I mean, the family that I stayed with, the, um, the Casey's kind of took me in and like I was part of their family. And if you're there to help them, no matter what it is, they want to be there to help you too. And um, I had nothing but positive remarks and positive uh, feedback and then nothing but kindness from the kids, from the neighboring community. And there's tons of people who had no idea what was going on, uh, but just saw a lot of cars and came to stop by at the games or the camp and, you know, started asking questions about, you know, Oh, tell me more about the baseball that's going on here. You know, is this, is this always here? And I I think that's how it's starting to grow is that more people are just seeing it and that they see how much fun the kids are having. And I think for that, um, that's why baseball is going to be something that's big over there soon. Or I can really feel it because they they play because it's fun, not because it's anything more or hobby. They, They just want to go and have fun. And that's what every single kid there and the parents kind of see it. And there's no pressure of all these different things going on, but the community get, got, got behind it as just a, a way for kids to go out and just play. 
you know, whether it's uh, a sport or a hobby, they, they can go out there and just play and interact with each other. And even after the camp, the kids would hang out for an hour or two just to kind of hang out and, you know, throw the ball around or try to hit or you kick, you do anything. So that, that was really cool to kind of see that even after camp was done every day or anything like that, they still wanted to hang around and just, just be kids and play. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, at the Baseball United Foundation, uh, we talk about sharing the game of baseball, and you clearly did that by sharing your knowledge um, with the kids in Ireland. And I just want to ask, what impact do you think the baseball exchange program had on the kids that you worked with, and what kind of impact did it have on you as a coach? You know, any time that I work with a kid or work with a player or, or coach a team, I just want them to be able to take one thing that whether it's uh, something on the field that they can do, whether it helps them throwing or fielding or hitting, or even something bigger that they can kind of take out um, off the field. And I hope that the kids that I worked with were able to kind of find, find the love for the game that I've had my whole life and or been able to take something that they can use for the rest of their life, whether it's, you know, knowing that you can't control every situation on the field, but you got to be able to move on. Um, or just, Hey, if you make this adjustment, when you throw, it's going to help you get to, you know, throw a harder ball to the base. If it's something like that, then I think I've done my job. And if they can remember that for a couple of years, then that's really cool to me. Um, but I definitely, you know, looking back on the trip, I, I feel like I learned way more from them than they probably did for me. You know, I've been lucky enough to play baseball my whole life and, you know, had a family that supported me through my baseball endeavors and things like that. Um, but you kind of forget why you played the game or why you wanted to, you know, go out every single day and practice and things like that. And, it's, you know, these kids kind of reminded me that, that you, you just love it. You know, you go because it's fun. You get to hang out with your friends and, you know, whether you're winning or lose, you know, you go home and, 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 and you're happy. It's exciting. And I think for me, it helped me kind of appreciate how lucky I am to play this game. I can still play because when I get between the lines, my main goal should be to have fun, not because it was my a job, not because it was because my coach is telling me to do this or that. It's because I love the game just like I did when I was a t-ball player. And I think it kind of helped rekindle that love for the game and, you know, keeps me in check of why I still coach and why I still, you know, work with – you know, hardball and why I still want to be a part of the game as much as I can. Great. Thanks a lot, Eric. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me.